Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I didn't get to go ahead and do a couple of the videos that I wanted to do because of uh, having this camera problem. So I thought I'd go ahead and make up for lost time and get uh, some of the products. Um, yeah do some of the videotaping today and so um, I started off with the Super Goop uh, Glow Oil and this one has an SPF of 50 in it and then as far as my actual foundation I went ahead and mixed the e.l.f. Uh, Halo Glow, this is in Fair One with the True Match by L'Oreal and this one's in C2.5 so it thinned it out a little bit. It's a little bit dark for me, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good summer color. So I'm working on, um, you know, lightening it up a little bit for now. And uh, let's see what else I did here. I did go ahead and use, um, I was playing around in my uh, bronzer drawer and I found how many people have a bronzer actually I have a bronze about two bronzer containers around here um, but I was going ahead and doing that and I found this wet and wild it's a color icon the bikini contest but it's in the old packaging and um, I thought that since it had a pink undertone that I would you know that it would be a good one for me. Um, I kind of picked all of these up and so I have them either in the old or the new packaging and so yeah I think with this one having a pink undertone that it's working out pretty well for me and so does this uh, well it's a cool color cool 2.5 so I'm trying to stay close to the same family here and uh, let's see what else do I have here I did go ahead and use the revolution um, their balm in the tin and so I went ahead and used the peach one as my base and then as far as uh, the powder that I used over that I used the color pop and this is the let's let's dance color and um, the reason that I go ahead and do that is because I don't really have time to touch up and I would like my blush to stay on at least, you know, part of the day. So I did go ahead and mix this one and the Revolution together as far as going ahead and doing the blush. <clears throat> I don't think I actually have any highlight on today. But yeah, it's coming off really glowy. Um, I do have some finishing powder on. I did go ahead and use the Butter Glow by, uh, yeah, by Physicians Formula in Translucent. And that's what I have on as far as my uh, finishing powder. As far as the eyes go, I did use the next Thicket Stick It. And um, <clears throat> the palette that I didn't get to play with that... Um, yeah, this one just didn't get done because camera had a problem, is the Forever Floral. And with this one, let's see, it gives you a whole bunch of pretty um, peach bronzy tones and then a couple of pinks to roses. So um, I went ahead and used uh, this one right under the brow, this one on the inner corner. I used this in the crease, and this is a mat with some sparkles in it. And then this one on the lid, uh, this one on the brow bone, and this one on the outer corner, so that I would uh, go ahead and, you know, get a nice look that had some depth instead of just one layer of the same color peach all over everywhere. So, um, again, I was going for some depth, and this is the way that the eye look turned out. I did go ahead and use the Revolution Me Love Long Lash Lengthening Mascara. This is uh, part of the Relove that's over at Walmart that everything is $5 or under. And uh, these ones are $3. So, yeah, some good purchases that way. I did also use ColourPop uh, Fresh Kiss. And this is a lip uh, lacquer. This one is in Speakeasy. 
so that's what I have. Yeah, that's what I have on there. It's still a little wet <laughs> because I uh, just now am getting ready to go this morning. And let's see, I think I'll actually go ahead and add some of the brown eyeliner on this as well. So that'll take a quick second here. Okay. So, yeah. So that's how it's looking. And again, this is the way that the eye look came out. And I think that's just about the whole video. Um, other than I did use some glisten up, I'm trying to use this up, the fourth ray, to go ahead and set everything so I didn't get any cakiness. And um, yeah, that's all. I think it's a fun look. I think it's a pretty look that um, is professional enough to go into work. So yeah. Um, uh, and I'm really liking this palette. I'm reaching for it quite a lot. But anyway, um, that's all. And thank you. And have a great day. Bye.